Uh, hi, uh, my name is Brett Schneider and I'm uh, from the class of 1994. Uh, I'm a structural engineer and uh, I was in our office in New York, uh, a block to the east of the World Trade Center the morning of the 11th, and uh, I've been working uh, in the efforts uh, ever since. Uh, specifically, I've I've been uh, coordinating the survey of buildings basically within a three-block perimeter of the site uh, for the Structural Engineers Association of New York. And so I've come to know the vast majority of the buildings in that area fairly intimately since then. And, you know, so I'm on the site on a, on a regular basis. And, you know, I have, I've, I've accumulated all this knowledge. And I, you know, as a structural engineer, I understand exactly what happened that day and exactly, you know, why the buildings came down now and, and why and when and exactly what those elements were. And, you know, in, in the process of, of doing the work I've been doing, um, you know, we were able to bring some, a small piece of professional order to uh, what was largely a, a chaotic mess to begin with. I mean, the, you know, how do you begin to deal with, you know, 200 foot piles of debris and, you know, uh, dirt and, and damage to buildings within, you know, a, a very large perimeter around. Uh, and, you know, many of my friends, you know, when I, when I talk to them and tell them what I do, you know, they say, well, you know, it, it must feel good to have been able to, uh, to, to do something in that process and, and to be part of, of, of getting things back, back to normal. Uh, but at the same time, you know, what I, what I always respond with uh, is that in order to do that, in order to be this face of order and reassurance, you know, there are certain disconnections I've had to make. And... Uh, you know, there, there are for me, you know, numerous World Trade Centers now. Uh, there is the one that I commuted through and took my lunch in the plaza of. Uh, there's the one of that day, uh, the unreality of, of the snow of paper, the, you know, the watching people stand on the edge uh, and, and make that decision, uh, you know, realizing that, that they were jumping not because they were thrown out, but because they chose to, uh, and having to deal with with knowing and seeing that that's what happened. Uh, and then in the following weeks, going to the site and having to say to myself, this is steel, and this is the remains of concrete, and I see these guys with the red bags that, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, are, are this big, because, you know, that's, that's, that's the size of, of what they were finding. And, you know, you, you have to block that out. And so, I mean, the reason why I'm here is not so much to tell my own story tonight, but to hear the stories that others have to tell and to continue to put faces together with what for me has, has had to be concrete and steel uh, because, you know, the, the knowledge I've gained, you know, and everything I understand about what happened is, is useless because I, I can't connect those things. And, you know, I, I still, you know, have trouble sleeping at night when, when, when the circuits connect and, and I realize that, you know, that void in the sky that I see contained thousands of people when it came down. And I, you know, I, I need to keep hearing what I'm hearing and I need to keep saying what I'm saying. And I, I appreciate all of you being here and uh, I really appreciate everyone who's come here tonight to speak. Thanks.